Hi there, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to create animated login form using HTML and CSS. So this is basically animated. If you leave this form and you want to submit, it's going to prompt you to actually enter data. So this is going to be for Gmail. This is going to be for your email. So you can enter any email at all over here. So when you click to enter, it's going to animate it for you and then you can enter your email right here. And then you can go ahead to also enter your password you can also click on remember my details and then you click on the submit for now we're going to click for now we're going to create just the login form later on i'll show you how we can do the registration form as well so this is going to have a transparent background as well so we're going to use my favorite code editor we're going to use vsc code editor and then my css file is also going to be here as well at the end of this video i'm also going to show you how you can get these files for free there code i'm going to show you how to get the code for this particular login form so let's jump into action and then start creating this so what we're going to do is that i have some file on my desktop this is the file i use for my final projects okay so this is the background image i use my css and then my index so we're going to use a different one we're going to use a different one so i created a folder called projects and it's only having a background image for now so we're going to open this in my code editor just go to file and then go to open folder so that's what i'm going to do so this is on my desktop and then i'll just open this from my desktop and this is my project folder i have it here and then just select and then open this folder within css i'm basically going to take my time to explain this take you through step by step for beginners so stay tuned and like subscribe if today is your first time so this is the folder the project folder the first file we're going to create is called the index page so we need to create our index page first so it's going to be index dot html and then we also need our css file so we're going to have style dot css so these are the two files we need to in, in order to create our project okay so on my index page i'm going to start creating my forms for this project so i'm going to start creating my form we can easily generate these templates the HTML template by doing something like this and then we can give a title to this so let's say animated login okay so this is going to be the title of our project and we also need to add our css to the header of this project so i'm going to say link so i can just select this and then my css is the same name so i'm just going to leave it like this the next thing i'm going to do is to create a section for this so i can just go ahead and say section so I'm going to put everything I'm going to work with within a section. Okay, so within this section, I'm going to write all my code within this section. The first thing I'm going to do here, the first thing I'm going to do is to create a div. And this div is going to be my main form. Okay, so I'm going to call this my main form. So this is going to be a class, main form. And then within this main form, we're going to create another class called the contents okay so let's call this one div dot let's say form content so whatever is going to go into this we put it right here okay so we'll have this and then within this we can start creating our form so the next thing i'm going to do is to create my form so it's going to be my form here so I'm just going to create my form and within my form we're going to add, enter several things like subscribing to this your first time so within my form i'm going to first add h2 header i'm going to add h2 header and let me just call it login so we can save this and then start viewing whatever we've done so far in the browser so i'm going to open the browser whilst we wait along so this is going to be the file already saved into the browser so now we just have our login here so you can see we have the login we're going to center everything and then we proceed from there so just after the login form we're going to create another class for our input okay so we're going to create our class for input so that's going to be just below the login form so we're going to create a new class so i'm going to call it div dot so i'm just going to call so i'm just going to call this input one i'm going to call this input one and then within this input i'm actually going to enter my input form for the email so it's going to be for 
my inbox it's gonna be import I'm gonna be import and this side is gonna be for email so this import form is going to be for my email and I'm gonna say report because I want that part should to be provided so I'm gonna say report and I just jump to the next stage it's going to be for my label so I'm gonna provide a label for my input as well that let me call it this email and then the label will be what email okay so the same thing is going to be done for my second input and it's going to be basically the same thing so i'm just going to duplicate this with my vs code i can press ctrl d to duplicate this and i'm not going to change this i'm only going to change this to so i'm only going to change this now and then i'll be getting one for my password so now it's going to be for password and i'm just going to change this for password Then this side is also going to be for password okay so we can save this and then view this within our browser view this within the browser now and then we should be having email and then a password as you can see over here now we're just going to proceed and then also have our submit form and then we have other details we're going to provide the next information which is going to be the forgot password so we're going to create another default forgot password and i'm going to create that down here i'm going to create another div just after this so div dot forgot so that is how i'm going to call this class div dot forgot and then within this class i'm actually going to provide the input that's going to be a checkbox so input and this should be a checkbox so we should be able to provide a checkbox for anyone using this form to be able to check in order to proceed so i'm going to first get a label and this label is going to be called remember and i'm also going to proceed and just give a label a name so this is going to be remember and i'm going to embed a link over here and the link is going to be for forgot password for now, I'm not going to link it to anything, so I'm just going to say forgot password. Okay, so we can just save this and then submit this from here. And just save this and then just submit this. Now you can see we have this information provided. The user can easily check this. And we have to finish this and then we can just start this and we can see the exact exactly what we are doing so i'm going to just call the last part the last part is going to be the button the submit button so the last part is going to be for the submit button so i'm just going to come down here just below my diff and i'm going to say button and then my button is just going to be login and after that i'm just going to place i'm just going to create another class for so after this i'm going to create another class for register so assuming you don't have accounts then you can actually register a new account so this is just a new class down here so let's just scroll down and this class is going to be just a paragraph so i'll create a paragraph and then within this paragraph i'm going to say don't have account and then if you don't have accounts then i'm just going to provide you with a link to basically register and now i'm not linking it with anything yet so i'm just going to say register okay i think we are done with the html part of this we are done with the html part and i'm just going to reload this so you can see we have this and then now we are going to start this form and then we're going to align everything in the middle so we are going to proceed with our css we'll move to the css part of this code and the first thing I'm going to do with the CSS is to basically target everything by using the asterisk. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to reset my margin. I'm basically going to reset my margin to zero. Set my margin to zero. And also my padding. I'm also going to set my padding to zero. 
and finally i'm just going to create a font just define a font family for this so my font family what i'm going to do is i'm going to say have vertical and area have it and a sans serif that's the font i'm going to stick with and with an style styling our section so the first thing we're going to start is our session okay so the section is the first thing we're going to start we're going to display everything as flex so we'll display everything as flex for the section and we're going to justify content center and for this we're going to say justify content and we're going to say center we're also going to align items to the center and let me save this and then let's view this in the browser so it's actually going to move everything to the center of this and we are actually going to move it down as well so we're going to define a minimum height for this i'm going to define a minimum height for our section and i'm going to say main height and i'm going to give 100 vh and i'm also going to give a width of 100 percent i'm also going to give a width of 100 percent and i'm going to proceed by giving a background color for now and the background color i'm actually going to give a blue background color and we'll later add our image to the background so we're just going to leave it for now for the section part we're just going to leave everything like this for now so we just have to reload this and you can see what we have over here we have everything well aligned in the center of our screen now we're going to proceed just by styling we're going to style our next part which is going to be the form okay we're going to style that's the main form we're going to start the main form so we we'll target the main form the next is the main form i'm just going to target the main form and remember this is basically a class so just make sure you use the right term and check the spelling as well so the main form we're going to say position the position is actually going to be relative and then the width will assign a width of 450 pixels so the width is going to be 450 pixels and we're going to give a height and we're going to assign a height of 500 pixels the next thing we're going to get to our main form is going to be display flex so we're going to display this as flex and it's going to be flex and i'm just going to do the same thing over here it's going to be justify content and it's going to also be center and we're going to also give align item we're going to say center so this are the information we're going to give to our form and then we're also going to give a transparent background for now that's going to be our main form we're going to give a transparent background to that later on when we want to make everything we want to apply the image we're going to give a transparent background to our form this in the browser you can save this and then we can load this in the browser okay so no major changes for now so we're going to install our h2 that's the header we're going to start the header from here so i'm going to target the header which is h2 we're just going to target everything h2 and we're going to give the header a font size so the font size is going to be 2.1 2.1 em and the next thing we're going to give to our font is a color we're going to change the color to white so the color is going to be white we're also going to give a text align center we're going to align the text center text align we're going to say center so if we go ahead and just save this and then load this within the browser you can see this is going to be white and the center aligned i'm basically zooming on this just for you to see what i'm doing now just after this we're going to align the input remember we created input for this and then the first input is the input one we're going to format this i'm just going to start this so we can just copy this and this is a class as well so when we come down here it's just going to be dot because this is a class 
we're just going to target this and then we go ahead and install this and then we're going to start this by giving a position of relative so position is going to be relative after that we're going to give a margin of 30 pixel top bottom and then zero left right so it's going to be margin So after assigning position relative, we're going to give a margin of 30 pixels top bottom and then zero left right. And then we're also going to give a width of 130 pixels. So let's give a width of 130 pixels. So it's going to be 320 rather, 320 pixels. And then we'll give border bottom. So we're going to assign a border bottom. Border bottom is going to be two pixels solid white. Okay, so that is what we're going to do. Let's save this and then view this in the browser. So we can see everything is now taking shape. So we have this, and then we're going to format the label. So we're going to format the label, just start the label for the input. So the next thing we're going to go to do is start the label for the input. So we can just copy this. Copy this one, come down here, paste this, and then we target the label for our input. So we target the label, and for the label, for our label, we're going to give a position of absolute position for our label. So it's going to be absolute position for our label, and we're going to give a top top of that's going to be fifty percent. I'm taking my time because I want to basically understand what I'm doing and I'm going left, left, I'm going to say 5 pills. We're also going to give a transformation, I'm going to transform this and then apply the translate, that's going to be the Y, translate of minus 50, so this is going to be minus 50%. We'll also give a color of white. Color of white and font. The font size is going to be 1 em. Font size is going to be 1 em. And pointer event. Pointer event is going to be none. And finally, we're going to give a transition. So our transition is basically going to be 0 0.5 seconds. So it's going to be 0 0.5 seconds. Now I'm going to save this. You may not see any major changes for now, but as we could see, you're going to see a lot. So you can see there's some effect over here. You may not see that at the moment, but once we continue to format this, it's going to be very visible for you. So I'm going to start and then we're going to apply some focus to our target keywords okay once we click over here we're going to give some focus to that so before that we're going to format before that we're going to format our inputs first so the input we're going to format them before we proceed to add that so i'm going to be so this is going to be input We're going to format the input target the class input one then we target the input within that class and then we format them so what we're going to do so what we're going to do is to give a weight we're going to give a weight of 100 percent we're going to give a weight of 100 percent and also give a height of 60 pixels height is going to be 60 pixels and we're also going to give a background Colors transparent. So background is going to be transparent. And then we're going to give you a border. We're going to say border none. And border is going to be none. And the outline is also going to be none. So both borders and outline will be set to none. And we're going to give a font size 
font size of 1 em and padding I'm gonna assign a padding of 0 then I'm gonna say 38 pixels 0 and then 6 pixels okay so let's save this before that we'll give a color of white I'm gonna give a color of white so you can see what is happening color white so I'm gonna go ahead save this save this and then load this within the browser so now you can see what exactly is happening now what we want to do is that before we type then there's going to be some transition this email and the password will give us space in order to type because if I stop typing now it's going to type through my email that's the placeholder or the labels it's just going to type through them but before I type I just want to provide the spaces for that this email and the password will provide the spaces for me to type so what I'm going to do next is to add some few information here and that information is going to be input so the input is going to be dot focus and I'm just going to use this symbol and this say label and I'm just going to say comma there's going to be comma and the same information input and this time around is going to be valid and I'll add a symbol and it's going to be label and I'm going to give a top of I'm going to give a top of minus 60 minus 6 pesos minus 6 pesos now let's save this and reload this in our browser So now you can see before I type, I click over there to type, there's going to be space over there for me to start typing and that is it. We'll format the rest of the town. So I'm going to go ahead and then actually provide that information for the rest. So now we can clear this and then proceed with the rest of that. We can increase this instead of using 6, we can make it 10. There will be enough space over there. There will be enough space to actually do that. So I'll, I'll proceed to actually format I'll proceed and then format the icons so there's going to be icons over here so then before we do that we need to add those icons so if you look at my final project I added some icons over here and these icons we're going to get them from this site we're going to get the icons from this site as iconic.io so I'll go to usage and I'll pick my icons from here and I'm going to copy this script copy this script and then add it to my code so when I go down here I'll go to my index page first and I'll paste this just below my section okay so I'll close the other spaces here okay so once I add this code I can go ahead and then format it so I can go ahead and then add that so I can get this code for my and I'll get my email and then I can get that for my password as well so let's get that from this site now we'll go ahead and then go to icons and then we can just search for email and then click over here and we can copy this code for email so we'll go ahead and then add this to our email so my email is over here so I'll just paste it down here and then I'll also look for something for lock for my password so I can just say log and then I can use this for my log just copy this code and then when I get here just below the password I'm going to paste it here I'll save this and then when I load this it will reflect on our site so you can see I have this over here it's a bit clumsy at the moment but once I start styling this it's going to be visible for you to see we're going to move this to the right eight pixels to the right so what i'm going to do is to go back to my code go to my csf code and then i'm going to target the icons okay so that's going to be the input we have these icons within the input okay the input one these icons are within that so 
we target the input first and target the icon so within that so i'll paste here and then make sure i copy the writing so this is my icon i'll copy that and then when i come here i'll just paste it here and then i'll start styling it so the first thing we're going to do is to bring the position of this icon absolute so the position is going to be absolute it's going to be absolute and we're also going to say the color should be white because of the background we are using the color is going to be white and we are also going to give a font size of 1.3 em and finally we are also going to give top top of 20 pixels and let's also add right 8 pixels so we're going to move it to the right 8 pixels and i think that's cool let's save this and then we we'll reload this within our browser and you can see we have this over here we're going to work around it so we we'll just shape this as we proceed so we're going to shape this as we move along so go back here and the next thing i'm going to start will be the forgot password so i'm just going to start that as well forgot password start so we're going to start forgot password so that's the next thing we're going to start so let's target that and let's make sure we are using the right class for that so we'll go to this and this is the forgot password so that's what we're going to start so let's make sure we copy this class so i'm going to copy this class and over here this is a class so i'm going to say dot forgot password so this forgot password we're going to say we're going to set a margin i'm going to say set a margin of minus 16 pixels and it's going to be zero and 16 pixels and i'm also going to give a font size font size of 0.9 em and i'm also going to give a color white i'm going to give a color white and i'm also going to give display flex and finally i'm going to say justify content center so let's save this and then check our forgot password and let's check our forgot password okay so this is also well aligned so we're going to change this color the link over here we're going to change the color to white and you can see this very visible so i'm going to go ahead and then target that i'm going to go ahead and target the label and then the link so i can copy this come down here paste this and then target my label and then the link within that and then this link i'm going to set a margin so it's actually going to be margin right i'm going to set a margin right of three pixels and i'm going to give a text decoration of none text decoration is going to be none and i'm going to get a font size i'm going to set a font size of 0.9 em and a color of white okay so let's save this and then we reload this in the browser okay so this is now visible this is now very visible i can just zoom in a bit for you to see now before that i just want to differentiate this so this is going to be a link and this is actually going to be for anyone to check so i just want to put some pipe symbol between the two over here so if i come here i can just place in some pipe symbol right here and then go ahead and then save this if i really reload this it should reflect so i cannot see a pipe symbol as a division over here now i'm going to format so we're going to go ahead and format the button now we're going to format this button right here 
So what I'm going to do is target the button. We have our button, which is the last part of this. So it's going to be button. I'm going to scroll down here. Target. I'm going to target my button. And then within the button, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a width of 100%. And I'm going to say height. The height is going to be 45 pixels. And I'm also going to give the background color as white. And border. None. And the outline is also going to be none. I'm also going to set the cursor, cursor to pointer, and let's also give a font size to this. Font size. The font size is going to be let's give one em, and we're going to give a font width. And um, font width, I'm going to give it 700, and I'm also going to give border radius so the border radius I'm going to give 25 pixels I'm going to save this and then we reload this within the browser so now you can see everything is finally taking shape over here now we're just going to align the don't have account path and then we'll add some border to this code and then everything should be in form so what I'm going to do next is to go ahead what I'm going to do next is to go ahead and format don't have account. So that's going to be basically the register part. So if you don't have account, then you need to register. So I'm going to target that, and that is also a class. So I'm going to say register. And the first thing I'm going to do is to set the font size of 0.9 em, and I'm going to say color should be white color white and I'm going to set the text at my center and I'm also going to give a margin of 25 pixels so 25 top bottom and 0 left right so this is what I'm going to do and then I'll reload this okay so you can see this is well aligned now and we can also format to the register the link over here we can format to this so that's the next thing we need to do over here we need to do that just by going down here and target register the paragraph so we are basically targeting this information within the p tag over here so that's what we're going to target we're going to target that and the link within that, that is what I'm going to target. So that's what I'm going to target. I'm going to give a text decoration of none. And color will be white. Color will be white, and we're going to say font size. We're going to set a font width of some hover effect to the register just to differentiate it to just to differentiate it from i don't have account so let's apply some over effect which is going to be underlined so over here i'll just going to copy everything and then i'll come down and paste it right here and then i'm just going to apply some over effect to this 
So I'm going to say text. Text decoration. I'm going to say underline. Okay. But let me just do something like this to basically differentiate this. So I'm just going to apply some over effects. Okay. So you can see there's some over effect. Now let's fix this. Let's make sure these icons are moved to the right position. So what we need to do is I'm going to change this. And then let's locate our icon. So this is the icon. Instead of 20, let's change it to minus. So let's change it to minus. Save this and then let's reload this. I just need to just move it to the other side so you can see. And then it's too much up. You can still format it if you want to. Just have to use the number I get. So I can change it to somewhere around maybe 15. I can change this to around 15. Okay, I'll change this to around 15. I think. This is better so that is basically what we have to achieve up to this stage now we're going to add some borders to this after we add a border then i'm going to show you how we can add the image to the background and also make this transparent so that's the next move for this so let's apply some border to this add a border around this login form so what we're going to do is that we target our main form so the main form is here and i'm going to add a border and it's going to be two pixels solid white so i'm going to set that as solid white and then also add a radius to this the border radius and i'm going to say maybe 35 pixels and that is it let me save this and let's view this in the browser so you can see we have a border around this now now you can type your email if indeed you have every information then you can submit this but remember we've not added the tab is going to add anything so if you leave this empty it will ask you to fill it remember we added information over here that says without so those information are basically required you have to provide them before you proceed now the next thing we need to do is to make this background transparent and then also add this image at the background like subscribe if you enjoyed it you give me a thumb up and also share with friends so we target this so we're going to target our main form here we're going to target our main form the first thing we need to do is instead of using the section instead of using this we can comment this line out so i'm just going to comment this line out and i will use background image instead so we're going to use background image instead of using the background color so in order to use a background image we're going to say background image and i'm going to say url and i'm going to target my background image so this is my background image.jpg and i'm going to say background repeat i'm going to say no repeat so i just want to have one image at the background and i'm going to say background position should be center background position i'm going to say center and finally i'm going to say the background side cover background size i'm going to say cover Okay. okay so that is it i'm just going to save this reload this and we'll come back to our browser our main project over here we should be getting a background for this so you can see our background is not set our background is not set for this project we have everything set for us and then remember background and it has make everything transparent for us so it's just similar to what we have over here i can just zoom in and out on this and you can see we have amazing login form you can type can type Gmail, your Gmail over here, and that's it. So, like, subscribe for more tutorial like this. I have a lot coming up, and you can't afford to miss that. So I'll be doing more videos for you, more related videos like this. You can just check this and then submit. And also, if you're not registered, you can click and then it will open a registration form for you. Now, we've not yet created a registration form, so we're going to leave it like this. In my videos to come, I'll show you how we can create another amazing registration form and we'll be doing a lot of coding tutorials as well like for the code for this particular project it will be at the description of this video you can download and then use so basically i'll leave the link at the description also subscribe and also let me know if you find it subscribe to my channel so the code will be at the description of this video thank you so like this like come away again bye bye